So now what we need to do is that we need to work on activating that button, meaning that once the user clicks on calculate, what we want to do is that we want to get the first number and the second number, and also we want to get the operation that the user has selected, and then we need to uh, do that operation and send back uh, the result to the user. But how can we accomplish all of that? Well, let's break down. Let's break all of this down into a just small uh, chunks so that we can work on that, that better and you can understand that better. So let's start with um, getting data from this form. So we want to get the first number and the second number and we want to get the operation. How can we do that? Well, first of all, in the simple that HTML, in order to get all of these, in order to get the first number and the second number and the operation, we want to have names um, added to each of these inputs. So here, the first the first input, which is for the um, first number, already has a name called first number. And for the input, we already have a name, second number for that input. But for the operation, we need to add a name. So here, in the select tag, you need to add, to add uh, an attribute name, and then you need to name it something meaningful. Let's name it oper operation, operation. So that way we, we will be able to get what has been selected from this uh, from this uh, menu, from this uh, drop-down, uh, or from this list. So now we have the names available. What we need to do is that we need to add here a method and a um, an action, so that once the user clicks on this uh, calculate something uh, should happen. And if you click on it, nothing is going to happen, or it's just going to uh, display an error or something, or nothing is going to happen because we did not activate that yet. So we need to activate that by adding here in this form. We need to add here action, and we also need to add method. So the method, the method that I'm going to be using is the post request. You can use the get request, but post request is usually used in case you want your uh, everything to be hidden and uh, everything to be uh, secure so it's better to use post request and for the action what we want to do is that the action is basically the url that we want to kind of get these um, these uh, fields values and then send them to that url and and uh, send them basically send them to the to the function that is corresponding to this URL that I'm going to be passing here and then that function is going to take care of uh, doing that operation. So how can we add here a URL? Well, to do here, to add here a URL, we need here first in the index.py to import here, to import what's called the URL for. This URL for will make us uh, will it us able to connect th uh, between the HTML code and the, the PY code because, as I told you, because we want to send the values here to the PY to the Python in order to make the operation. So this, this is why I have imported here the URL for. And here now in the action we need to use it. So here I'm going to say double curly braces and then I'm going to say URL underscore for this is going to let us use this function. And, this, and then this function is basically going to take uh, the name of the, um, the function that you want to execute. So we, we, for now, we don't have any function here that we want to execute. So we need to use to create a function. So I'm going to say here at, and then app, and then root, root. And then I'm going to say here uh, forward slash calculate. I'm going to just... Uh, name that URL calculate and then the, the name of the function def and then also calculate calculate and then all of what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna hit, I'm gonna just here say return and then return nothing we just um, don't do don't want to don't want to do anything here for now I'm just gonna say calculate a function just for now just to make everything as I told you, I just wanted to break everything down. So now we need here to pass the name of the function that we want to execute once the user clicks on this button. So the function that we want to execute is, is this calculate. So I'm gonna say here, calculate. Now if you save and 
head on over to the browser and refresh. Let me refresh. And then let me click on calculate without even passing any numbers here, or without inserting any numbers here. Let me click on calculate and show you what's going to happen. So if you click on calculate, what's going to happen is that here it's going to say method not allowed. But it worked. It worked because as you can see now, the URL is here, it says here calculate. And it took us to a new page, but since uh, we did not uh, work. I did not complete the the uh, function. I did not complete uh, everything. It's gonna send us here an error message. But now we know how to make a connection between the HTML code and the PY code.